Welcome back, everybody. We have a, uh, another group of products that we're going to be talking about today. We're at Staff to 2020 at our virtual convention. Obviously, we're not in Anaheim this morning, but we're coming to you live from our ratings facility in Memphis, Tennessee. So, on this segment, we're going to be talking about ladies PPE. So, I'm going to have a couple of uh, guests with me today. We have Anna Huff, who is our manager of our Insight Sales and Customer Service Department, and we have Ky Kyra McEnany, who is one of our lead designers of the products that we're going to be talking about today. So, I'm going to let you guys have it. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. So, a lot of people are wondering why is there such a big push on the women's line safety vests and PPE? Um, a lot of you may not know that there's roughly 1.9% of the women workers, and that's just in the construction field. That equates to 1.1 million women. So think about it, 1.1 million vests, and more than likely they're going to buy more than one vest um, to interchange during the week. So that's a big segment of the market share. Um, a lot of times we get the question of why do I want to carry a whole new line of size of small through 5X when I just have this standard safety vest that men and women can buy? That's one less skew. Well, the reason being is there's a lot of hazards coming to wearing a men's vest. Kyra and myself are both wearing a men's vest um, today, and as you can see, it's very loose. A lot of potential to snag something if I'm on a ladder. I could catch at the bottom and fall off that ladder, which would be a worker's comp plane. And we all know we don't want that, right? So there's also a big push going on on the um, customer level. UPS is partnering, Flatiron's partnering, driving women's safety. So this is a big push in the industry right now. Kyra is going to talk about why we're modeling the SV59 and the benefits of this vest. Thank you, Anna. All right, so we're both wearing our regular men's fit SV59 and it is a fantastic vest for 90% of the construction population. It's our number one surveyor construction vest. And now it's doing what it's supposed to do for 90% of those workers. It's keeping them safe and visible, why it's fitting correctly. Uh, and then you have that small, seems small 10% of the construction population, um, but it's not that small. Like Anna just said, that's over 1 million workers who are actually wearing improperly fitting vests. That's 1 million people and that number continues to grow of people that are having to go to work and then put on vests that are actually becoming a safety hazard on themselves, having to wear that vest while trying to keep safe. They're, they're staying visible, but they're also now a safety hazard uh, for the reasons Anna explained, catch hazards, getting caught on heavy equipment, ladders. Uh, they're cumbersome. Um, as you can see that our shoulders are a lot, a lot more broad. They kind of hang off of us. Uh, these are just straight fits. Um, they kind of get stuck, you know, on your, on a woman's build on your, on your hips. It's kind of sitting up on it. So it's billowing out. You know, the armholes are ginormous, you know, vests are made to fit overcoats and things like that. So you have to have a bigger armhole. But this is really, really big, and this doesn't fit us very well, and it becomes a hazard why we're wearing it, um, as you can see. So, enter the SB59W, our women's vest, and all those points that I just talked about that are not right for us on this vest have been corrected on this vest, and you can see we're going to put it on that it fits us a lot better. So let's go ahead and switch out and put these on, and you can see what the difference is. Also, a few other things is the pockets hang really low. So if I have items in my pockets, they're going to be getting in my way as I'm working. So therefore, that would drive down my productivity as I'm trying to fight all my stuff from not being in the way of doing my job. Take that. So if I put mine on, I'm just going to hold this for a second. And Anna's going to zip hers up. And I'm going to point out um, and compare on the men's vest, we had PP very broad shoulders. You can see on this one, it has more narrow shoulders. On the end, you can see it fits her better. Um, her armhole is higher. It's still large enough where she can wear a jacket underneath if she needs to. Uh, her neckline is higher. It's not, you know, really low, so it helps hold it closer to her body. And we also have a little bit of waist shape and it's wider at the bottom. So you don't have that issue of, you know, it being tighter at the hip and then sitting up on your hips and then billowing out at the top. Um, 
And so one thing I will mention is that in order for us to reshape this best, um, we are still within the confines of you know, the ANSI standards. We still have the background square inches and the tape square inches that we still have to meet those requirements because we still need ANSI, uh, ANSI vests. And so in order to do that, all those points that were too big to wide on the men's vest by relocating those, moving our uh, moving our arm holes up, narrowing our shoulder, um, widening the hip just a little bit. We we're able to take it in at the waist a little bit, um, and that's where we can also gain inches to, in order to narrow the shoulders um, and make a little bit smaller vest because we still have those requirements that we can't, you know, make a really tiny vest. Um, we still have to meet those requirements for ANSI for background and tape. So with some uh, engineering, we can make a better fitting vest and still meet those requirements and still have uh, an ANSI vest. Um, from what we've been hearing, a lot of women in the industry, when they're wearing these giant vests, they're altering them themselves. You know, they're tying them at the waist. And, you know, if they're taking in their own side seams at home, then they're wearing a vest that is not compliance. And we don't want that. So with this, with these SB59 vests for women, we don't have that issue. Um, they fit properly. They're doing what they're supposed to do now, keeping workers safe and visible, as well as they have a proper fit. So um, one thing I want to point out also is we have also the additional um, inclusion of a back waist cinch. So you can customize the fit just a little bit more and make it just a little bit tighter if you need. And so Anna's going to show what's inside the plan pocket where you access that and you can just cinch that up. It's going to get even a little bit more of a customized fit in the back. And then um, we can show you also how easy it is while you're wearing the vest to access that. It's on the left side. I can easily just adjust that if I wanted to make it a little bit tighter while I was wearing it. So we pretty much made this vest smaller and it fits better, but as you can, you can still see all the high vis, so it still meets the standards. So you, you've pretty much solved that solution of not having your workers go home and alter their vests. So it saves everyone time and money. And uh, so you'll have definitely a lot more happier women being able to wear these vests, a lot more comfortable, not cumbersome to wear, getting in the way tools and things like that. Um, and they also still have all the same exact features as the regular SB59 vest. We haven't taken anything away. It still has the heavy duty uh, web webbing along the center front neckline and the lower hem, although we put it on the inside. And that helps us gain some more background square inches where we can customize the fit to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, we gain background there by putting that tape on the inside, that webbing, I should say, on the inside rather than being on the outside as it is on the regular SV59 vest. So we still have our plan pocket, our chest pockets, our radio pockets, our tether um, grommets here if we wanted to tether some tools. We have all the same exact features. They just fit us a lot better now. So um, we took our top selling vest and made it into a ladies vest. And then we also decided we need a jacket too. So we, we took an all year round jacket so that way we can wear it, you know, if it's mild in the spring and the early mornings and then also if it's rainy. So we'll, we're gonna go in and show you our new ladies jacket. And this jacket is also very popular within the office itself. Um, today it is supposed to rain, and um, I guarantee you, you'll we'll see quite a few ladies wearing this out in the parking lot as they're going to lunch. We'll keep this one at my desk at lunch. <laughs> oh yeah. So these are class three. So you have your ANSI rated class three jacket if you're in some wet conditions uh, and you're required to wear a class three. And uh, before I zip it up, the inside. Um, so this is a polyester, very lightweight ripstop. Um, it's TPU coated, and uh, the inside is lined with the uh, sports uh, mesh. The TPU is uh, breathable. Um, and on top of that, we also have 
and our arm uh, underarms uh, zipper vents there. So if you you know get a little bit warm and on a humid day, you can unzip those also. And we also have a toggle waist at the bottom for a little more customized fit if you wanted to make that a little tighter. We also have this little Velcro on the wrist so we can make it tighter so that way it actually fits our wrist. And as we're pulling, it's not coming up and your wrists aren't getting wet for comfort. And it's also not too loose for snag hazards. So this is an all around great jacket. Um, you can definitely get more bang for your buck because you're not only wearing it for a few months out of the year, you can wear this year round. The segmented tape is lighter weight, so therefore it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing a high visibility vest. It feels like I'm just wearing a raincoat. It's very comfortable. So I have a hood up and we have a little bit of a fill in the hood and the hood itself also is adjustable with the toggle in the back. And so Anna was, as Anna was saying, these are super lightweight and you know, you can wear this you're not necessarily needing warmth, but it's rainy or it's windy, you can easily put this over, you know, whatever you're currently wearing to, to break the wind or uh, keep the rain off of you. So, and with their white, lightweightness, you can easily roll these up also and pack them and take them with you. And we're going to take a little shot here. We have one laying on the table and we're going to show you how we can roll that up and into its hood. And you can pack that into your suitcase or your overnight bag and it'll take up very little space so here we are we're just going to take the sleeves and fold them over on themselves onto the body and then you're going to fold the side seams in again and then you just basically you can fold it in thirds and then you're just going to fold it up into the hood just like that so now it's nice and neat and folded and I can stick this in my suitcase or just put it in my back seat and it doesn't take up very much space at all. More room for our sheet. That's right, because that's the important thing. <laughs> all right, so as we're entering the winter months, um, more and more people are starting to ask us about our heated jackets. And the heated jackets is probably one of our number one Christmas gift items. Um, everyone loves this jacket for just about everything, and you can use it um, no matter where you are. We're, we're in the South, and I use it to go to the grocery store so my kids aren't starving, or um, to go to a football game to keep my husband happy, right? So it's pretty much like wearing a fleece heated blanket. As you can see, I have this small, warm, fuzzy feel. I feel like I'm wearing a blankie and then you just turn it on hold the power button down a few seconds and it starts heating right up so i get to stay warm and cozy all day and i'm not miserable and so anna's wearing our best selling heated jacket for women is the dchj 066 and so it has all the great features she just spoke about and it also has a detachable hood that is lined with that soft uh, fleece also and uh, what I'm wearing is the our newest jacket. It is the DCHJ 084, and it is more of a, a parka length jacket, and it has a couple of adjustable tabs in the back for a more fitted look if you know I wanted to do that. Um, it has some really cozy flannel lining on the inside. And it's diamond quilted, uh, insulated, and these coats are pretty substantial just by themselves before we even put the battery in and turn them on. So that's really a nice feature. Um, and then adding that extra warmth from uh, the heating elements is just makes it that much better on a really, really cool day. She also has the extended cuffs so she can put her thumb through yep. it. That's my favorite part. My hands are always cold. Yep. So that way you got warm hands as well. And this one also has a, sto a stowable hood inside the collar there. So Anna's is not stowable, but hers is, is detachable and a little bit heavier weight. Um, so question about uh, embroidery and screen printing. We don't recommend screen printing them since they have all the you know, heating elements in the wires. They can't really go through the dryer and withstand that high heat, although they are washable. Um, and dry, you can dry them on low, but they cannot withstand that really high heat of a screen printing dryer. Um, and embroidery also, we were asking you to do that, not 
most of the time heating elements they all have heating elements on the back this one has one in the back uh, so this one has three heating zones and then one on each side of the chest where anus has four the front and then two on the like one on the upper back and then one in the mid back and uh so there's not a lot of places that you would really want to you know embroider because you can risk sewing over uh wires or the heating elements however there are certain places some of the jackets have features that you can do some embroidery uh, like Anna's here has uh, her phone pocket here she can actually if we unzip that you can actually stick a hoop in there and you can and or you can uh, embroider right there so some of the jackets are you know have some options where you can do some embroidery but um, they are limited because of the nature of the jacket with their heating elements and all their wires we also have a full line of men's jackets in um, the DeWalt heated jackets. All the women's jackets come kitted. That means they come with the DeWalt battery and the adapter. The adapter also has a USB port, so you can charge your phone as you're on the job, so you don't have to worry about your phone dying if you're calling at the contractor a lot. Um, the men's jackets, we have most of the versions come kitted and a few versions come non kitted as a lot of contractors have about 20 DeWalt batteries laying around, so they don't really need it. And this year we have two new jackets is our Sherpa, um, reversible Sherpa and fleece vest. And then we have a lightweight uh, black jacket also. Um, we had a lot of requests for, for a lighter weight jacket but if needed, you can still you can still get warm. But I will tell you, the vest is really awesome because you can layer it, which um, a lot of people don't think about. Uh, I love the vest and the fact that you can wear it over a sweatshirt, you know, on a not so cold day, but as temperatures lower, you know, if you have a lot of coats, you know, I have a lot of coats, I have a lot of shoes, and I don't always want to wear the same coat. So a vest is awesome and the fact that when you're wanting to wear all those different coats, you can layer it on top of that vest. So you always actually have a heated coat. That is that is all we have for you guys today. We also have um, a smaller frame eyewear line, smaller glasses and smaller earplugs for all the ladies as well. So if there's additional items that we didn't cover. Please reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to talk to you about what else we have to offer. Perfect. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, Kyra. Uh, one question that always comes up is, on the highest setting on our heated jackets, about how long will it heat? On the highest setting, a few hours. So if you have it on low, it should last between six and nine hours. If you have it on the highest, you're probably not going to want to keep it on that for, you know, the whole time because they did you get pretty toasty. But it's, you know, the lowest uh, amount of heat you can expect in hours is, is about three hours, you know, give or take. It could be a little bit more than that. But on the highest setting, it's, you know, definitely uses a lot more battery. Also, you have to take into account the environmental factors. If it's super cold, that battery is going to be working really hard to keep you hot. Whereas if it's, you know, fairly cold, it's not going to work as hard. So it'll last you a lot longer. And what's great is if you have already have DeWalt tools, you might have multiple batteries. So if you have a few spares with you, that's always great. Um, they also will hook into all the different amp hours also. You can, if they come with is a, the two, two and a half amp hour, but you can even put a five amp hour battery on the adapter and heat the jacket for a lot longer. Right. Some really great products. So the nice thing about our ladies PPE, it's designed for women, it's designed by women. So you'll see this line continues to develop, continue to grow. A lot of the general contractors that I've uh, talked to recently, they're really embracing uh, the the uh, the ladies on the workforce, and it's not just pink hard hats and pink safety glasses. It's everything is very very professional uh, to blend in with the rest of the workforce. Not treated any different, but they uh, they want their clothes, they want their uh, safety or safety equipment to fit properly, which is very very important. So we'll continue to grow that line, I'm sure. Yes, we have a lot of exciting uh, things in the pipeline right now. That's um, Radians soon will be a one-stop shop where women can get all of her PPE needs. All right, great. Thanks, ladies. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So again, just just more product that that uh, we're a very very uh, developmental company. So it's not just I, I, you just look at the high vis itself. Just where it started a few years ago, you just basically needed. A piece of fabric to hang on you. Now there's a lot of standards around that as far as the uh, the amount of background color, the amount of tape that has. There's a lot of things that have 
uh, that are in play with design and development. So if we're right on the cutting edge of that, uh, we're going to continue to uh, lead the market in our product development on this product and, and many others. So again, thanks for stopping by. Uh, one other thing I want to mention that just by participating today, you have an opportunity to win one of these jackets or another uh, DeWalt heated jacket of your choice. So that winner will be announced later this afternoon. So obviously the more of these that you attend, the better your odds are. So we appreciate you stopping by. Uh, if you have any questions on any of the products that you've seen today, please go to our website at radiance.com. You can do a, a search for that product and hit the button request more information. So we'll, we'll make sure that we'll get back to you and answer those questions for you. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you.